Alright, hello uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope everything is going great for you because it's going great for me. Uh, a little bit on the warm side today, but it's alright. Uh, and it seems that we have a bit more of a great news, actually. Um, normally there's not always a lot of great news, but sometimes we just get uh, great news just because, um, yeah, it, it seems that he, uh, our, our certain actor, maybe because of all Alec Baldwin is... Uh, getting destroyed and I mean he may be facing charges for rush shooting. Set the faithful prosecutor says actor is a possible defendant as he hands over his cell phone to be looked at as evidence. Now I'm really hoping this guy gets um jailed um because if it was any of us plebeians or non-significant people uh we would be in jail already probably be facing murder charges etc etc and obviously I would much rather you know maybe it be equal on all sides regardless of stature but you know they live in a different world than we do and they have different privileges so obviously uh they get to uh reap some of these amazing benefits for themselves but it might not be so for this particular specific individual because he may be facing murder charges let's get directly into the actual article here and see what's going on New Mexico shooting, New Mexico prosecutors have indicated that they have charged Alec Baldwin over the fatal shooting of cinematographer Helen Hutchins on the, on, on the set of his movie Rust last year after the actor handed over his cell phone to be considered as evidence. In a letter to the state's financial board asking for funding to prosecute the high profile case, the FA district, district, uh, district Attorney uh, Mary Carmack uh, Twess said she was ready to file charges against four people, as she probably should. Uh, she stopped short of confirming the charges she planned to bring, but, but said it was certainly looking all, looking all homicide statutes and any gun statutes under New Mexico Criminal Code. One of the possible defendants is well, is, is well known movie actor Alec Baldwin, she wrote. Uh, Carter Atwood asked for 635 to prosecute the case, saying she needed the money to go up against well paid attorneys. Yeah, that is that's true. Uh, the state agreed to award her office three hundred seventeen thousand to appoint a special prosecutor to take the case forward. The request the request was quietly was quietly submitted on August thirtieth and was recently approved. After it was filed, Baldwin, who welcomed his seventh child with wife Hillary last week, listed his Hamptons home for sale. It was always maintained that he did not pull the trigger and that he blamed that the, and that the blame lies with the stunt sellers and prop managers who should have ensured the gun was cold, empty, and violent bullets. E yeah, but let, let's put it this into perspective here. Um, first off, you are the you are the owner of everything, so you should be having everybody be going through everything, make sure that you have proper procedures and all this stuff, checking whether the gun is loaded or not. These are proper things that you do before you even try to fire a round at all. You're reporting a, a gun at somebody. Why in the hell are you not checking if the gun's loaded, if there's real, real live ammunition in there? Like, why are you not doing this? This also falls on you. This is not just the people around you. Yes, should the other people be charged? Oh, 100 fucking percent. For the people that were actually responsible? Yes. But if it's your movie and you're the actual director and you own everything that's going on? Yes, you should be held responsible, you piece of garbage human being. I don't like you, and I will proceed to not like you. You should be behind bars. Along with anybody else that's been involved in this debacle that has been charged with the ammunition. Obviously, it comes down to uh, just complete, utter negligence, and I want him to be charged. I want these people to be to have the fear that they're not incapable of being escaped from the law. The law will come for them, and they'll be slammed for it. All right, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger. No, he said in an interview about the shooting. Well, <laughs> you you certainly fucking did there. You 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 definitely pointed a gun at somebody and pulled the trigger, and now she's um you know not alive anymore. She's um currently in a box where her family have to grieve. Yeah. He blames the with the armor Hannah Cortez Reed, who who he says was in charge of training the safety of the props, which would also be you. Uh, the gun should all have uh, only contained blank rounds. Yeah, should have. Which is why when you were pointing at somebody, you should probably should check the gun for live ammunition, regardless of whether somebody did it or not, to make sure everything's okay. You degenerate. 
the character as Reed has always has always denied culpability, despite also being blamed by Hutchins' family for the tragedy. Uh, yeah, because women can can can't take accountability for their for that, their actions. It's actually they're actually quite um, you know I would say uh, disturbed by taking accountability. Uh, it's actually quite disturbing, honestly. Uh, yeah. She was named as a defendant in a wrongful death lawsuit launched by Hutchins' widow widower. ABC News on Monday said that one of the final pieces of evidence that prosecutors had been waiting for was Baldwin's cell phone. The DA wrote that one of the final pieces of evidence her office had been waiting for was Baldwin's cell phone. Why is that repeated twice here? The actor has not commented, commented on the DA's recent remarks. His attorney did not immediately respond to Daily, Daily.com's inquiries on Monday. In addition to listing their Hamptons home, Baldwin and his wife sold a property in upstate New York earlier this year for 530000 They still own their 16 million, 16 million Manhattan penthouse and 1.7 million farm in Vermont. Yeah, of course they do. Um, what is it like to be rich? A uh, couple recently welcomed their seventh child, ch ch child together, a daughter named Ilaria. Hilaria, 38, announced the birth on Instagram. She's here. We're also excited to introduce you to our tiny dream come home, tr tiny dream come true. Ilaria, as young as she said. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a nice place. Definitely a nice place. But yeah, it, it, it just comes to show that like these people are... Uh, this man is not really what we would call the greatest person on the planet. He has actively gone onto Twitter attacking people, going completely unhinged. He is not the greatest person on the planet at all. Um, and honestly, I he, he's just not just just not a good person. We we seen the actual things of him of, of the things that he's done, um, and now this complete negligence may actually put him behind bars. I think he should be punished in, at the at the very least for what he's done. Um, I don't know what it possibly could be, but he deserves some type of punishment. The, and so does uh, so so does Reed. She shouldn't be getting off free either. Um, I think she should also be punished for also negligence as well. Uh, I want justice done, and if we can support this person by backing them, by giving them money, then we should be able to do so as well. Because if it's money that is a problem here, then that is what should be given. I don't like the fact that uh, that in a for form of justice, money is the biggest issue. Money should not be the issue here. Um, money should be more along the lines of a standard. Maybe... I don't know if this is right or not. I don't know if this is okay, but maybe we should have some form of actual legitimate standard to where uh, there could only be X amount of people that they can actually employ, um, mostly due to the fact that uh, uh, a certain rate. Because at the end of the day, it shouldn't be the people that have the most money that wins and be able to get themselves out of uh, out of injustice or out of, just because it's injustice. They should be able to be, uh, I would say, be held to the same standards and pay the same exact amount. I, I honestly think there should maybe should be a, a potential flat fee, so that way everybody has the ability to, uh, the, the ability to, uh, just the ability to, uh, to uh, get the right amount of justice. Because... I don't like the fact that we will have uh, we have to have, people have people that have more money. They are able to get a higher level of justice, which is completely asinine. That should be levied somehow. Maybe I could talk to Nick Rokita about this and see how that would possibly be. But again, it, it's something that I would like to uh, I would like to see because it's it's just insane. But I hope this I hope justice does come through, and I hope this guy does people come behind bars, or at the very least, some type of justice is done, which is him behind bars or anything else so yeah all right guys that's it for the video like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one take care